Today, XRP rises as Ripple announces a new acquisition in Europe. And Justin Sun addresses the recent SEC charges against him and his companies. Welcome to CNBC's Crypto World. I'm Mackenzie Segalos in front of the Miami Beach Convention Center, where the three-day conference, Bitcoin 2023, kicks off tomorrow. This morning, though, crypto prices are mixed as investors are paying attention to debt ceiling talks. As of noon Eastern, Bitcoin dropped below the $27,000 level. Ether fell just below $1,800. However, Ripple's native token, XRP, soared by nearly 5% in the past 24 hours. The move higher comes as Ripple announced today that it had acquired Medico, a Swiss crypto custody services firm, amid an increased SEC crackdown on crypto companies. The deal is expected to bolster the blockchain firm's product suite and help the company increase its presence overseas at a time when it's fighting a lawsuit from the SEC. All right, let's get right to our main story. Justin Sun is one of the richest and most controversial people in crypto. The crypto entrepreneur was even sued by the SEC in March on securities and market manipulation charges. Crypto World's Talia Kaplan spoke with the Tron founder in his first interview on camera in the U.S. where he addressed those claims. Sun, who's an advisor to the crypto exchange Hobie, also explained why it was important for his companies to have a presence at Bitcoin Miami. Bitcoin Miami kicks off this week and Tron will have a presence at the conference. Now, I was recently at another crypto conference, Consensus in Austin, and saw Tron had a booth there on the floor of the convention center. So I'm wondering, why is it so important for you to have a presence at these crypto conferences and what are you hoping to accomplish? Yes, definitely. Uh, both Tron and Hobby has been the sponsor for uh, Bitcoin events and uh, consensus for uh, so many years. Because I know uh, U.S. is a very important community. Even today, um, the reg regulatory environment in B um, for crypto um, might be uh, a little bit backwards. Um, but definitely, I think the future is very promising. And we want to continue to engage with community members together um, to build a very a strong Bitcoin and a crypto ecosystem. So Huobi and Tron, uh, we always love to be a part of it. Um, so that's why we also sponsor uh, Consensus uh, for many years, I think four or five years already. Uh, and we want to continue to contribute in the growth of crypto community. What do you mean exactly when you say the regulatory environment here in the U.S. is a little backwards? Can you expand on that? Sure, definitely. Uh, recently, we have seen uh, SEC has sent a well notice to uh, Coinbase, and also they have um, basically uh, performed uh, legal action against uh, Bitrix, uh, Kraken, uh, Gemini, um, uh, basically, I, I think most of the uh, crypto exchange in the United States. Uh, but eventually, I, I think this will all be decided by judge. Uh, and I definitely believe um, the future uh, is bright. Uh, we might have a little bit up, up and downs uh, in the process, but eventually we will get there. Speaking of the SEC, they actually came after you and your companies. In an interview from February that I had watched, you were flat out asked if there was wash trading of your tokens taking place. And you said, of course not. And then a little less than two months later, you were hit with charges from the SEC for just that, among other things. Specifically, the SEC charged you and your companies with fraudulently manipulating the secondary market for TRX, Tron's native token, through, quote, extensive wash trading. What's your response to that? Um, so first of all, uh, our legal team uh, will handle uh, this procedure. And I believe eventually uh, um, um, SEC is only the one who uh, bring um, the uh, um, complaints, right? Eventually it will be decided by court. Uh, and uh, um, currently, I think for our business itself, it's not operate in uh, United States uh, in any way. Um, so, uh, so that's why I won't worry too much about that. So the agency specifically claimed that from at least April 2018 through February 2019, 
you allegedly told your employees to engage in more than 600,000 wash trades of TRX between two crypto trading platform accounts you controlled with between four and a half and 7.4 million TRX wash traded daily. The SEC said that the quote, scheme required a significant supply of TRX, which you allegedly provided, and that you also allegedly sold TRX into the secondary market, generating proceeds of $31 million from what the SEC said were illegal, unregistered offers and sales of the token. I know you said that you don't really operate in the U.S., but the SEC, the U.S. agency, is in fact charging you for these allegations. So what is your response to all of that? Yes, sure, definitely. Uh, I think first of all, uh, it's handling by our um, uh, legal team. Uh, and also, of course, uh, since we don't operate, uh, I mean, in United States uh, at all. So um, also, basically, the uh, either like myself, like BitTorrent, uh, or Tron Foundation, uh, which we have dissolved like a long time ago, um, it's all uh, based outside of United States. So um, eventually, I think this is going to be um, decided by uh, court. You did, in fact, issue a statement reacting to the charges on Twitter uh, immediately after you were charged, writing that the SEC civil yes. complaint is just the latest example of actions the agency has taken against well-known players in the blockchain and crypto space, and that you believe the complaint lacks merit. Does that statement still hold true? Is there anything you would like to add to that? Uh, yes, uh, I definitely uh, believe those uh, complaints like Mira, and uh, uh, I think we will let our uh, legal team uh, handle that. And uh, I, I believe it, and eventually we will sort it out. I know you said you're going to let your legal team handle this, but what was your reaction <laughs> when you and three of your companies were charged by the SEC with fraud and other securities violations? Were you surprised or did you see this coming at all? Did they give you any notices, any warnings? Uh, we we didn't receive anything uh, before uh, this brings out. So, uh, uh, but I feel peace since uh, <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. Right. So, uh, and, uh, and also, like I said, we doesn't just operate in the United States at all. So, so that's why I won't worry about it. Uh, and also, um, I think the same time we believe, you know, crypto, uh, adoption, uh, um, in this journey, right? So, um, always we, we might have some backwards, right? Goes ups and downs, but eventually I think the future, uh, is bright and uh, we will eventually get there. So a United States court issued a summons to addresses in Singapore believed to be yours in connection to the SEC civil case. In the filing from April 12th, the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York ordered you to respond to the summons within 21 days. Did you respond to that summons? Uh, I think this is a uh, uh, very complicated uh, law procedures, uh, which I think uh, media misinterpret it. Um, but not, I'm not like a legal expert. Um, but, um, my legal team explained to me, so, uh, they will handle it. And, uh, uh um, and, and, uh, I mean, this is gonna be, uh, um, 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 basically eventually, um, handled by uh, the legal department. So I know you're saying that your legal department will handle this, but according to the court, judgment by default will be entered if you did not respond. Do you know if your legal team did in fact respond? Did they plan to respond to that summons or address the SEC charges at all? Um, so uh, uh, I, I don't have much information um, on this one in particular. What do you think about the continued crackdown on crypto companies here in the U.S. and the SEC's approach of regulation by enforcement? What do you think about that? Um, so I believe uh, SEC uh, has lost lots of credibility um, on those legal action, right? Uh, when they first like take legal action against probably few exchange, uh, uh, people will feel like like. Uh, uh, the complaints they bring, uh, probably, uh, has some foundation. But after they basically go after everyone, um, um, every players in the space, 
uh, I, I think eventually um, SEC will face a pushback, right? Eventually, uh, I, I think they already see um, Coinbase also file complaints against them. Uh, I, I think they will eventually uh, um, have backlash on the action they, they take. In January, we've reported here on our show that you told Reuters you were ready to buy up digital currency groups assets and were willing to spend up to a billion dollars on those assets belonging to the company behind a bunch of crypto businesses like Genesis. A few days after you reportedly made those comments, Genesis filed for bankruptcy. Now, you didn't tell Reuters which assets you were interested in. But in an interview from February, I heard you say you were interested in potentially buying Coindesk, which is an independent operating subsidiary of DCG. In that interview, you said you had contacted their investment bank. So where does that all stand now? Uh, I, I think still in process. I can't give much of the details, but I, I, I think this is uh, still in, uh, in process. So are you still interested in buying Coindesk? <laughs> I I can't comment on um, specific this one, but uh, I think still, I mean, uh, DCG uh, is still in the markets, right? So I, I think they are still talking with uh, all their creditors about finding a financial solution eventually. So I, I, I will say uh, this one is still in the process. Are you currently considering buying up the assets of any other distressed crypto company? Yes, um, definitely. Uh, I think right now, after three months, um, the overall environment has been uh, way better than what we in three months uh, ago. But still, I think we are willing to help. Um, so, and, and also uh, wants to continue to contribute on the crypto industry development. We reached out to the SEC for comment in response to Sun's claim that the agency lost a lot of credibility on its crypto legal actions, and a spokesperson pointed us to a prior statement from SEC Chair Gary Gensler. And when the SEC charged Sun and his companies back in March, Gensler said in part, quote, as alleged, Sun and his companies not only targeted U.S. investors in their unregistered offers and sales, generating millions in illegal proceeds at the expense of investors, but they also coordinated wash trading on an unregistered trading platform to create the misleading appearance of active trading in TRX. Sun also discussed why he ultimately decided not to give billions in aid to FTX when the crypto exchange was going under in November and provided his outlook for crypto, arguing that the so-called crypto winter is behind us. We'll have the full interview with Sun on CNBC.com slash crypto world. Okay, that's all for today, but we will have lots more coverage here in Miami Beach for Bitcoin 2023, including conversations with Michael Saylor, David Marcus, and more. We'll see you back here tomorrow.